We need to stop talking about the effects of the pandemic. The effects of the pandemic in the UK should have ended in May when we reopened the airports and ended the very strict scientifically based lockdown that we had been running as part of our zero COVID policy. Everything that has happened since then is the effects of Boris Johnson's incompetence. And the latest news is that the UK government is planning to halve the amount of aid that it sends to the Yemen because of the financial implications of Boris Johnson's incompetence. The UN describes the situation in Yemen as the worst humanitarian crisis in the world, which I always thought was Keith Lemon. God, it's ages since I slagged him off. Has he gone away? Did I win? I don't know, right? However, just like the effects of the pandemic, any debate about how much aid we send to the people of Yemen is a masterclass of smoke and mirrors because of the hypocrisy of it. The people of Yemen need humanitarian aid because they are being targeted by airstrikes by Saudi Arabia. Bombs have hit civilian homes, marketplaces, hospitals, weddings, funerals, even a school bus. And we are one of the main countries that is exporting those weapons to Saudi Arabia. And we know that we're doing it. In 2016, the House of Commons produced a report that said it seems inevitable that any violation of hu international humanitarian and human rights law by the Saudi-led coalition has involved arms supplied from the UK. In 2019, the House of Lords produced a report and that said, given the volume and type of arms being exported to the Saudi-led co coalition, we believe they are highly likely to be the cause of significant civilian casualties in Yemen, risking the contravention of international humanitarian law. BAE Systems is the main company providing weapons exports from the UK to Saudi Arabia. They have 6,300 employees in Saudi Arabia because, I mean, think about it, when you buy a multi-million pound military aircraft, I mean, of course, it comes with tech support. You don't buy these things on part exchange. You get experts going over there to train you how to use it, to maintain it, to keep the technical stuff up to speed, to provide spare parts, all of that stuff. It comes with a care package. It's like Apple care, but death care, yeah. Channel 4, their dispatches program, interviewed a BAE technician who had been working in Saudi supporting the Typhoon aircraft in 2019. And he said the Brits basically do everything from start to finish. We are supposed to train the Saudis, but they are not there to be trained a lot of the time. We have to do all the work from the ground up. We pretty much do 95%. The Brits don't touch the bombs, but that is the final 5%. We do 95% of the work of bombing Yemen. By any reasonable measure, we are not exporting arms to Saudi Arabia. We're at war with Yemen. And then we're like, don't worry, don't worry, we're, we're sending some aid, not as much as, as we're used to, but we're, we're sending... I mean, I'm pretty sure the people in Yemen would rather not get bombed than find out that every bomb comes with a complimentary sandwich platter, which is basically our current policy. And you might be thinking that the problem is about money, but that doesn't even make sense. The, the amount of aid we sent to Yemen last year is about 11% of the amount of arms that we sent, the amount of value of that trade. And 11% profit is a really high profit margin for the arms trade. It would have been better value if we'd just given that aid money to BAE Systems and said, don't send anything to Saudi Arabia. Right? And not selling arms to Saudi Arabia is not exactly radical policy. This war has to end. And to underscore our commitment, we are ending all American support for offensive operations in the war in Yemen, including relevant arms sales. Joe Biden's been in power less than a month. Already done. Tick. The US isn't sending them anymore. Even the previous US administration was talking about ending arms sales to Saudi Arabia. The Republicans had a whole plan. And then trade advisor Peter Navarro wrote a letter to Jared Kushner saying it might lead to job losses and Trump vetoed it, right? But let's just be clear, if the thing that you want can be fixed by writing a letter to Jared Kushner, you shouldn't have it. 
the UK was actually ordered by the courts in 2019 to end arms sales to Saudi Arabia. And they did, or they they didn't. They brought it down to a slightly lower level and then they apologised for having broken the official rule. I made a video about that last year. Then the government announced that it had reviewed the situation and it was going to continue arms sales without regulation because the attacks on civilians were just isolated incidents. A Freedom of Information request revealed that the number of isolated incidents was 410 that they were aware of. 410 attacks on civilians. There's just no such phrase as there were 410 isolated incidents. It's just... It's just meaningless. It's just a nothing, right? And for good measure, let's just rewind a little bit further. Why is the situation in Yemen such a mess? Well, of course, it's complicated. There's a lot of history there. There's a lot of different groups. There's a lot of tension in the region. But one big issue is that in 1839, we invaded half of the country and turned it into a British colony. And we didn't fuck off until the 60s. So in a lot of ways, we should be taking responsibility for some of what's going on. The UN has described the cut in aid as a death sentence. They say 11 million children are in need of humanitarian aid in the Yemen. And yes, that's all of them. They also say that the UK provision of arms to the Saudi regime at this time is likely, when it is reviewed in courts, to constitute a war crime. This is where Saudi Arabia gets its weapons from. And this chunk, the big green chunk from the US, has just been taken off the table. So one of two things can happen at this point. We can stop selling arms to Saudi Arabia, or we stand a chance of getting some very big, very exciting new orders in to replace what the Americans are no longer going to provide. And this is a huge choice. Remember that BAE technician I mentioned who was interviewed for dispatches? Here's something else he said. With the amount of aircraft they've got and the operational demands, if we weren't there in 7 to 14 days, there wouldn't be a jet in the sky. So let's forget bickering about aid. We can literally end the bombings in Yemen in a fortnight. Write to your MP. Join Campaign Against the Arms Trade. And if you'd like to be a part of doing something about the 11 million children that I mentioned, one way that you can do that, I am back up hosting the Humanity Show, which is a brilliant online comedy show, which you can get a ticket for in return to any donation at all to our Just Giving page. And we support refugees in the UK and around the world. We have already sent some money to the Yemen and we would love to send some more. Uh, If you're not on my mailing list, then join my mailing list or watch my Facebook and you'll find out when the next one is coming up. And we really hope you'll join us for that. Thank you.